the young 25-year-old from the Netherlands, Rico Verhoeven. Six and one glory record comes in the number two ranked heavyweight, and he'll make it very clear to anyone who'll listen, he is not happy with that number two ranking. As well as moonlighting as a pro boxer, trying to improve his hands, he just won his boxing debut seven weeks ago. So again, another one of Glory's finest, part-time pugilist. His opponent is coming off a highlight reel finish over Errol Zimmerman. Please welcome Daniel Gita. We mentioned rankings earlier. He comes in as the number one ranked heavyweight in the glory standings. And that's what Rico Verhoeven is not happy about because he took him out at glory 11. It's a rematch as we check out the numbers and the tail of the tape. Size-wise, they match up almost the same. The key here is Gita can't let Rico Verhoeven's youth and athleticism and his gas tank force the pace of the fight. He's got to slow this kid down who's got a great gas tank. This battle for the Glory Heavyweight Championship belt is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he was the 2013 Glory Heavyweight Tournament Champion. His record, 43 wins with nine losses, six and one in his Glory career. At six feet five inches tall, 1.96 meters, he weighed in at 253 pounds, 114.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands and rank number two in the world. World. Here is Rico Verhoeven. <laughs> Standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, the world's number one contender makes his 10th glory start. His professional record, 50 wins with 10 losses, 39 big wins by knockout. At six feet, four and a half inches, 1.94 meters. He weighed in at five time at 245 and one half pounds, 111.4 kilos, fighting tonight out of Romania. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Daniel, the Savage Samurai, Gita. Here now is your referee, Marcus Rosales. Rick. Daniel. Gentlemen, this is for the heavyweight championship. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. We're going five rounds. Touch them up. Daniel. Let's go, let's go. Rico, my piece. Thank you. Back up. The Glory World Heavyweight Go! title is on the line. Daniel Gita in the white gloves. And Rico Verhoeven in the black and blue shorts. It's a rematch from Glory 11. A grudge match between former training partners turned bitter rivals. High kick from Rico Verhoeven to kick things off. Run Crook along with Duke Rufus and Luke Thomas. Calling the action here for this heavyweight title fight. I tell you, Keaton in his last performance looked tenacious, but Rico has been consistently getting better. He's been training with top boxer Tyson Fury, really working on his boxing. You can see really stiff jab there. Well, as mentioned, they've trained together before. They know each other very well. And it's really turned into a bitter rivalry. Social media has exploded. Daniel Gita calling... Rico Verhoeven, a fake champion. Verhoeven upset about how could Daniel Gita be the number one ranked heavyweight in glory when he beat him at glory 11. I tell you, I see a different Rico Verhoeven tonight, a little bit more confident, a little bit more tenacious attitude. You know, before he was working hard and 
an almost uh, a rocky type survivor in there. You can see that he's got a little bit more pep to his step and he feels he's the champ. Both fighters exchange high kicks. Well, maybe that confidence comes from taking out both Gokan Saki and Daniel Gita at Glory 11 to win the heavyweight championship tournament. Rico Verhoeven is one of those young rising stars in the sport of kickboxing. Hard worker, that's what everyone knows him as. And uh, I was saying, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Gita with that high kick blocked by Verhoeven. Fight odds coming into this. Gita was the favorite at minus 140. The, the kid, Rico Verhoeven, coming in at plus 100. We are under one minute to go. World heavyweight title fight scheduled for five three minute rounds. Solid exchange. He didn't landed his first nice punch in that exchange, but then Rico ended with a nice inside low kick. Verhoeven seems very relaxed. Said he needs to take Gita out of his comfort zone, and this is not the zone you want to be in. Gita on the ground, planning of a kick south of the border. Take another look at it, and that one yes. hit the target. Gita will take his time to recover from that. And that's not going to help the bitterness between these two guys, is it? No, not at all. I mean, there's some some mad trash talking. Gita's calling uh, Rico the princess, and he's going to take his tiara, his crown. <laughs> You know, um, and then uh, Rico called him the number one of smack talk and not the number one con contender. And a fake number one. Yeah. They were both quite animated this week at the press conference, and they, they've had a fun Twitter beef if you want to go on Twitter and follow it. Verhoeven sh showing some sportsmanship with coming out to Stop touch the glove ball. and apologizing to Gita. Gita just misses with that wicked uppercut. Time! That's going to do it for round number one. Remember, in glory title fights, three knockdowns in a round, four and about will equal the fight coming to an end by either TKO Watch or out, KO. You started punching, you kicked your inside leg, eh? Wait for it. One round gone, you see how you order here? Hard hitting Daniel Fresh. Gita. Wait for him. 50 wins. 39 coming by way of wait. knockout. 78% knockout you ratio. Right. You come back with the right. you really combines speed there. and power. That's a dangerous package. That crushing KO that he put on Errol Zimmerman was nasty. He crushed him. Second time, my piece is in. Second time, my piece is in. Let's go. Wait. Round number two, scheduled for five in the glory heavyweight division. Fighting for the vacant heavyweight title, Daniel Gita in the black and Rico Verhoeven in the blue shorts. He looks a little more awake this round and active. Obviously, you got to pace yourself accordingly for a five-round championship fight. Remember the last time these two met, it was in the tournament. So it was three three-minute rounds. And as that fight went longer, Verhoeven seemed to break Gita down. Verhoeven feels because of that youth advantage, the longer the fight goes, the better for him. Stop, stop, stop. clinch and are separated. Rico's starting to find uh, his mark with a really cool move. It's old school combo. You kick and at the same time you drop a punch over the top. Uh, you know, it's starting to find the chin there, Gita. He's doing it from the right side, the right leg, right hand. Nice defense there from Verhoeven.
Midway through round number two. Rico's really good at controlling the fight and controlling the ring. He has, he has a good awareness where to be at all times. He just slipped a nice hook there, but now Gita's starting to come out. That right got through and landed by Gita. Follows it up with a kick to the ribs. High kick from Rico Verhoeven. Better standing in the center of the glory ring. Both of these heavyweights got cantaloupes for calves, man, with some muscular legs. Like getting hit with a free train baseball bat. Not fun. From Gita, and then he goes to look to the side, but the way that Rico Verhoeven reacted, it looks like a low blow. Fighters exchange low blows here. Right in. Touch gloves and we are set to go. You can hear Verhoeven's corner. They really want him to keep pushing and throwing that push kick, that front kick. Nice little forearm stretch there by Gita using his age and experience, using the little tactics uh, the ref doesn't see. Inside kick from Gita. Like the Dalai Lama said in uh, 2000, know the rules so you know how to break them. Round two is in the books. Let's go backstage and check in with Luke Thomas. All right, guys, the finals of the last man standing is set. Joe Schilling, Artem Levin. But if you know your glory history, you know this is kind of a big deal. This is a rematch from Glory 10. And at Glory 10, Joe Schilling fought Artem Levin, dropping him, going to an extra round in, at Ontario, California, and then beating him. If he gets through Wayne Barrett, if he gets through Marcus Simon, if he gets through now Artem Levin, he'll have defeated basically the murderer's row of middleweights. So here we go, the rematch. Artem Levin, Joe Schilling, one of them is going to be the last man standing. Guys, back to you. Well, it was the matchup that we had all hoped for, I think, in the back of our minds, the rematch between Joe Schilling and Artem Levin. What was interesting in talking with Levin is he could care less who he fought in the finals. He just wanted to get to the finals. No revenge factor there. But great storyline for us here in L.A. Fight! Round number three, the Glory World Heavyweight title on the line. Daniel Gita, Enrico Verhoeven, who do you have winning this fight at this point, Duke? Uh, I give the one to one there. He did, picked it up a little bit more that last round. Verhoeven's corner pleading with him to keep throwing that push kick, and that's what he came out with to start round number three. Little jab gets through to the face of Verhoeven, delivered from Gita. Verhoeven might be content to, to let this fight go a little bit longer as the veteran 33-year-old Daniel Gita. He believes he fades as the fight goes into the later rounds. This is scheduled for th five three-minute rounds. You can tell Rico's been boxing, but the only thing is he's looking too much to counter. He needs his offense to be his defense with Gita. He can't let Gita get comfortable here because Gita is a very skilled counter fighter. Powerful kicks to the ribs from Gita. Fans in the upper deck heard that one. You'll see the toll on Rico Verhoeven's left side of his body. Fighters clinch and broken up. Verhoeven moving forward, pushes Gita up against the ropes. Verhoeven continued to moving forward and Gita countering. Another kick to the ribs from Gita. Yeah, he's starting to throw some thunder. Yeah, Rico blocked that one after three got through. Go! 
253 pounds, Rico Verhoeven. Very athletic. Stop. Get out of there. No cut, no cut. Watch your hands on As we come up to 30 seconds left in round number three. Get out of the clinch to delivers a shot. There who've been throwing a few more combinations now, Duke. Yeah. Uh, as well as Gita, they're both getting in the exchanges. I think next round we're going to see both these guys pick up. You know, again, it's a championship fight, Stop pacing the themselves a little bit. Well, Gita ends round number three with another kick to the ribs. Those will start to take their toll on the young Rico Verhoeven. Saw Rico, he was kind of walking gingerly back to his corner. I think his legs are starting to get a little sore. He's kicked some checks or checked some kicks, and his shit might be bothering him a little bit. That's part of the sport, the wear and tear that your legs take, as we saw earlier this year, unfortunately, uh, with Tyrone Spung. And as well, Tyrone now is uh, healing up and doing better. Much love to you, Tyrone. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. Uh, this is a sport where you sacrifice your body. And from what it sounds like, uh, Tyrone Spong will be returning. It's great news. And speaking of heavyweights, there's one of the best. Evander Holyfield here at Glory. Becoming a huge kickboxing fan, following wherever Glory goes worldwide. We are into the championship rounds for this vacant Glory heavyweight title between Rico Verhoeven in the blue trunks and Daniel Gita in the black. Look at the welts to the left side of Rico Verhoeven. Definitely. Gita can swing some lumber with those legs. He's a power kicker. He's been known for years as a great low kicker, but tonight we're seeing the body and the head. Verhoeven presses forwards, attacks the body. Another kick lands. Daniel Gita on fire with those. Go! With all the talk he's been doing recently, we might have to change his nickname from the Silent Samurai to the Romanian Samurai. Rico moves in. Fighters can chop. He just said that he was ready to go five rounds. He worked very hard training for this fight. His cardio is in top shape. Body shots from Rico Verhoeven. Gita's got a strike as Rico's coming in. He can't let Rico smother him because that's what Rico's trying to do right now. He's trying to come in, smother his power, and he's got to hit him as he comes in. He can't wait for that to happen. Stop. Left straight from Rico Verhoeven to the chin of Daniel Gita. Not a lot of power behind it. Approaching one minute to go in round number four, schedule four five. Gita goes down, but it is not a knockdown. It was a slip. As he landed another successful kick to the body. Again, Rico's doing that smother and cover style that he likes to do. Push kick from Verhoeven. Good check. That's why he's falling down. Rico now, he knows that if he picks the shin up high to block, that's what's deflecting the kick, and it hurts more than kicking the arms. Impressive defense there by Verhoeven. 30 to go, round number four. Body kick from Verhoeven as we approach 10 seconds. His fourth round. Oh, solid Stop shot from Daniel Gita to the ribs. Gita down again, but no knockdown. Well, a very tight fight at this point with a vacant heavyweight world title, Duke. Yeah, I, I'm not sure who to call it. 
So let's count on the judges tonight. Don't count on Duke Rufus. I'm sitting here enjoying this fight. These guys are banging it out and doing a lot of good technical things. Look at the shouting at him. I think the fifth you round is going to be key him. here. You know Who's going to really pick it up to win the he fight? Must come to you. If you need to know, move away. Keep the distance. That's what you have to do. Kick on the body. Left side, left side. And the hands up. And with the elbow, bang, follow. Transformation Bayness. Transformation Bayness. Nice toe trappen and balance. Toe trappen and balance. Hier is het. Drie minuten vandaan. Uit de glorie. Hey, hier is het. Hier is het. Drie minuten. Met de focus, hè. Met de focus. Hij gaat heel even beginnen. Met de focus. Fifth and final round for the vacant glory heavyweight title. Rico Verhoeven, Daniel Gita. A very close fight. It could come down to this fifth and final round. Run Kruk alongside Duke Rufus and Luke Thomas. Gita up against the ropes. There's that youth and hustle of Rico. He's going to come out there and Charlie hustle you. That's what he likes to do. That workman rate. Gita has been successful all night delivering kicks to the side of the body. Verhoeven keeps moving forward. Youth, of course, on Rico Verhoeven's side. Combination gets through for Gita. Right back at it with Rico Verhoeven. In Thailand, there's a saying that you, you're always arguing. That's how you win fights, and that's what Rico's trying to do right now. What I mean arguing, he's hit, and he gets hit, he does something back, and that's how you can really get decisions by staying active like that. Very active Rico Verhoeven is. Halfway through the fifth and final round. He just landed some nice shots as well. Both fighters nice right delivering shots to the body. See if someone tries to go upstairs straight from Verhoeven. Combination from Verhoeven. That's where we see the youth in fights he's a young heavyweight at the end of the fight he can throw things that most guys can as fast under a minute to go in this fifth and final round the rematch from glory 11 where rico verhoeven was victorious grudge match between former training partners Who's got enough gas left to finish strong? These two big heavyweights. Under 30. Stop! Break! Two. Oh, combination delivered from Daniel Gita. Then Rico comes back. Right. Great fight. Again, these guys are just putting it all out there five seconds to go leaving it all in the ring and a sign of respect from the two bitter rivals shaking hands and hugging in the glory ring both fighters raise their arms in victory still to come our tournament final between Levin and Schilling. But first, let's go over to Luke Thomas with a special guest. All right, I'm sitting next to mixed martial arts royalty, UFC commentator Joe Rogan. Joe, uh, is this your first time at, live at a Glory event? First time live at a Glory event, but I've watched all of the other ones. Oh, so live, how has it been? Fantastic. One of, one of the best nights of combat sports I've ever seen. I'm having a great time.
Now, the main event, or I guess the finals of the last man standing tournament, hometown Joe Schilling, of course, taking on Artem Levin, the rematch. Who you got? Well, I enjoyed the first fight. Their first fight was fantastic. It was a very, very close fight. The big knockdown by Schilling early was a, a huge key to that fight. Um, I, I think it's a fantastic fight. I, it's an incredible uh, event that you have to fight three times in a night against world-class competition like this. I mean, it's like combining fights with an ultra marathon. I mean, it's really crazy. So who knows who's going to win? I can't wait to watch it, though. Joe, thanks for the insight. Guys, back to you. Great stuff. Let's get back to business with the heavyweights and see who will claim the glory heavyweight title as we check out some of the highlights in this fight, Duke. Back and forth action. We go to round three. Yeah, again, Guido was trying to go to town with the uppercut. Rico went to town with his uppercut. Guido was smashing some great body kicks. I mean, it's such a close fight. There's that body kick we were talking about. You can see the damage. Rico was coming forward, but Guido was landing some big shots. Very close title fight. When you see the damage, as you mentioned, to the ribs of Verhoeven, that is one criteria for the judging is damage to the fighter. So we will see how the judges scored this heavyweight title fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we send it to the judges' scorecard. They scored about 49-46, 49-46, and 48-47. A unanimous decision all for your winner. And now, glory heavyweight champion of the world, Rico Well, he won't have to worry about that number two ranking again as he is your new glory heavyweight champ. Well, it wasn't the barn burner many had hoped for, but Rico Verhoeven finally has gold around his waist. He is the new glory heavyweight champion. Only one fight remains on tonight's card. It is the final of Last Man Standing. Russia's R Team Levin, who has made it look like a glorified sparring session against Pereira and Belinden, takes on the American.